Dear family and friends, we've gathered here today to witness and celebrate the, the wedding of Jessica and Marcelo. Surrounded as we are by those we most love, let us turn our hearts and minds to the two hours, the two before us who wish to bind their lives together. In peace and in love, the celebrating the beauty and joy of life. Marriage is the supreme sharing of experience and an adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. Marriage has been described as living in love with your best friend. Love is one of the few constants in this universe. Our only love is capable of joining living beings by their deepest essence, uniting, completing, and fulfilling them. Marriage is a symbol of the commitment to create a lifelong partnership based on love. Marriage is not about marrying the right partner, it is about being the right partner. Marriage is not the promise of hope between two people who love each other sincerely, on each other as individuals, and who wish to unite their, their lives and share their future together. In this ceremony, Marcelo and Jessica dedicate themselves to the happiness and well-being of each other in a union of mutual caring and responsibility. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, little things are the big things. It is remembering to say, I love you. It is at no time taking the other for granted. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is not expecting perfection in each other. It is not cultivating flexibility, patience, and understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having a capacity to forgive and forget. It is establishing a re relationship in which the independence is equal, and the dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is discovering that your love for one another at its best will never lose sight of or be, be blotted out by the commonplace experiences in life. This is a new beginning for the both of you, and I'd like to offer some gentle reminders to ease your lifelong task of living and growing together. Be kind to each other at all times, and when you disagree, do it respectfully. Be gentle and forgiving with each other. When you forgive, your hearts make room for a little more love, a little more understanding, a little more compassion. Communicate with each other. That's the most important part of, of any relationship. Share the joys that's in your heart and the sorrow that burdens your soul. Open your hearts to each other and find that love will never forget that you, what you share today. Continue to show your appreciation and admiration for a on a daily basis throughout the rest of your lives. Two among us who have stood apart now come in our presence to decide to hold hands forever and be united in their love and be united in marriage, facing the world in a strong and mutual, compassionate way. It is with courage that people get married. May they learn to share life's trials and grow in understanding and devotion to each other. May love and companionship abide in the home they establish. May they grow old together in health and contentment, ever grateful for the union of their lives. May they always be, one, be with one another, not to fill in an emptiness, but to help each other know fulfillment. May they embrace one another, but not encircle one another. 
may they find happiness and may they find it in making one another happy. May they find love and may they find it in loving one another. Now, we have Marcelo and Jessica before us who wish to take their place among us and those that have said yes to living, yes to the hard task of loving another and to the best of the humanity stands for. The celebration is the outward token of their inner union of hearts. It is a union created by their loving purpose and kept by their abiding will. It is in the spirit for this purpose that they come here uh, together to be joined in holy matrimony. And at this time, Marcelo and Jessica like to read or share their own vows. Jessica, start. Baby, um, I'm so blessed to be marrying my best friend and soulmate. We fell in love six years ago, and now I couldn't imagine my life without you. I love falling asleep and waking up to you every day. I will always love you unconditionally, and I look forward to growing old together. I love you. Okay, Marcella. Jesse, with all that life has given us, we have stayed strong and united for over six years. I want you to know that you are my best friend. I will always stand by you. I will always support you. I will always love you. You are my son. Okay, hold hands. Okay, do you, Marcelo, take Jessica to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward to have and to hold, forsaking all others, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish so long as you both shall live, groom? I do. And do you, Jessica, take Marcelo to be your lawfully wedded husband from this day forward to have and to hold, forsaking all others, for better and for worse, for richer and poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish as long as you both shall live? Okay. Traditionally, the marriage ceremony is marked by the exchange of a ring. A wedding ring is a symbol of an unbroken circle of love. A reminder that freely given, it has no beginning and no end. Forever, the giver and the receiver will be bound in holy matrimony. Let the seamless circle of these rings symbolize your commitment to love that is never ending and may remind you always of the vows you have taken here today. Marcelo, in placing this ring on this bride's finger, repeat after me. Jessica. Jessica. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Take it and wear it as a pledge of my love. Take it and wear it as a pledge of my love. And as a symbol of, for all we will share. And as a symbol for all that we share. And Jessica. Here's his ring. Jessica, in placing this ring on Marcelo's finger, repeat after me. Marcelo. Marcelo. With this ring, with I, I thee show, <laughs> I, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Take it and wear it as a pledge of my love. Take it and wear it as a pledge of my love. And as a symbol of all we will share. And as a symbol of all we will share. Good. <laughs> Since you love each other in your hearts and have promised to help each other to live and grow, in wisdom and compassion. With these rings, you're, you bind your lives together and for as long as you both shall live. And I wanna say a small, a short prayer. In acknowledgement of this holy purpose of this power and this occasion, please bow your heads in prayer and pray with me. Dear Lord, please watch over this couple. May you bind their wedding, their marriage with a thin veil and be, be, be the third thread that binds the, the power of their love that runs through their hearts. Please protect them and watch over all th that love them and their families as they grow. Amen. Okay. You have been declared before us that you will live for, together in marriage. You've made special promises to each other which have been pro symbolized by the joining of hands, the taking of vows, and the giving and receiving of two rings. By the authority vested in me by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you 
husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. It is now, it is now my great honor to be the first to pre present Mr. and Mrs. Ritako.